Hello, welcome. In this short video, let us look at the theorem concerning eigenfunction of a linear time invariant system. Given input x of t equal to e power s naught t, where s naught is equal to sigma plus j omega, then for a linear time invariant system the function x of t is an eigenfunction with impulse response h of t and only if the output the output y of t is equal to x of t multiplied by h of s x of t multiplied by h of s where h of s is the Laplace transform of the impulse response h of t So for a linear time invariant system, if the output has a structure y of t equal to x of t multiplied by h of s naught, where h of s naught is the Laplace transform of the impulse response and x of t has an exponential structure, then x of t is, a, is an eigenfunction of the LTI system. We can easily prove this by looking at the definition of the output. It is given the input x of t equal to e power s naught into t, then the output y of t is equal to by definition integral minus infinity to plus infinity h of tau multiplied by x of t minus tau d tau since x of t is equal to e power s naught into t we can rewrite the integral as from integral from minus infinity to plus infinity h of tau e power s naught into t multiplied by e power minus s naught tau d tau. This is clearly e equal to e power s naught into t multiplied by h of s, h of s naught. Where h of s naught is the Laplace transform at s equal to s naught. It is integral minus infinity to plus infinity h of tau e power minus s naught tau d tau. Therefore, y of t is equal to x of t multiplied by h of s naught and x of t is the eigenfunction. Thus for a linear time invariant system, if x of t is an exponential function, then it is the eigenfunction of the LTI system with given impulse response h of t. Thanks for watching.